Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to begin learning how to read music on the staff, not like a shepherd's staff, but a musical staff. Learning to read music is really awesome because no matter what country you're from, you read musical notation the same. In fact, some people call music the universal language. For instance, if I had a piece of flute music. I would read it and play it the same as someone from Italy or China would, because the musical alphabet is the same. Music can connect us when speaking, reading, and writing cannot. That's some pretty powerful stuff. A musical staff has five lines, and in between the five lines are four spaces. We also need a clef, which can be one of these musical symbols. Treble clef is for higher notes, like a flute would play, or a soprano would sing. And bass clef is for lower-sounding instruments and voices, such as a tuba. Or a baritone singer. No, I, I feel. So good, yeah. Depending on what clef you choose, the notes will be different, even if it's on the same line or space. For today, we're going to stick with the treble clef. The lower the line or space on the staff, the lower the pitch. The higher the line or space, the higher the pitch. Starting from the bottom of the treble clef staff, the lines represent the notes E, G, B, D, and F. The letters always remain in this order from the bottom line to the top line of the staff. A trick you can use to help you remember the names of the lines is assigning a word to each letter, such as "every good boy deserves fudge." Nom, nom, nom. Or you can choose to use something else, such as Eddie's green boots don't fit, or empty garbage before dad flips. Even something like everyone gets balloons during fiestas. It doesn't matter which one of these sayings you pick to help you, as long as you remember it. I've always used every good boy deserves fudge, so that's what I'm going to continue to use. Let's do some practice rounds. Which note is this? I can see that it's not on the first, second, or third line, but it's on the next line, our fourth line. So if we stop at the fourth line of our phrase, "Every good boy deserves," deserves starts with a D. That means that note is the letter name D. Let's do another one. Can you figure out this note? This one's not on our first line, but it's on the second line, so we can just stop there. We go to the second word of our phrase. Every good good starts with a G, so this note is a G. Try this last one by yourself. If you got F, then you got it correct. Good job. Now that you know how to figure out the notes on the lines of the treble clef staff, what do we do for the spaces? Well, there's four spaces, so we're going to assign a letter to each space on the staff. F for the first space, A for the second space, C for the third space, and E for the fourth and final space. Hey, wait! That spells face. As long as you remember the word face, which rhymes with space, you'll be good to go. Let's get some practice with naming our notes on a space. How about this first one? Can you figure out what this note is? Well, going from bottom to top, our note head is not in the first space, but it's in the second space. We don't have to keep going, since it's in the second space. What's our second letter of face? A. Let's try another one. Going from bottom to the top, 
What space is this in? Not in the first, not in the second space, not in the third, but it's in the highest space, the fourth space. What's our fourth or last letter in the word face? That's right, you got it, E. Try this last one by yourself. Did you get it? If you guessed C, you'd be correct. Nice work. Let's talk about what we learned so far. We know that musicians write music on a staff to know what note to sing or play. We know that we can have different clefs on the staff, such as treble or bass clef, but today we only talked about treble clef. We also learned that there are two types of notes, notes on a line or notes on a space. In fact, there are five lines and four spaces on our staff. If they're on a line, we used the saying, every good boy deserves fudge to remind us that the notes from the first line up to the fifth line are E, G, B, D, and F. For spaces, we used the word face to help remind us that the spaces from the bottom up to the top space are F, A, C, and E. Now that we reviewed, take a moment or two to figure out these six notes. Be careful, these notes could be on a line or a space now. You'll have to look at them extra carefully. Here are the answers. How did you do? Learning to read notes can be tricky, but you did an awesome job. Keep up the great work, my musical friends.